I also have Serranos, but these are just for my personal use. <laughs> Later on. I think I'm going to use this in a little bit, so I don't want to actually put it in the sink. I got yellow things. I got habanero. I got bell pepper. I got... You know what? I got sun gold tomatoes. We're adding together orange stuff right now and I'm gonna grab a couple turmeric why not turmeric's kind of a pain in the butt it stains everything it touches it's tiny. It looks like little weird creepy crawlies. Um, and when you peel it, the little outer outer edges of the of the root kind of get everywhere. <laughs> Just my opinion. But it's right. So to peel it, I'm just going to leave it on the cutting board. So let's do a thing here. If it's going to take up half my screen, it's got to do something. Probably should have just scooped them out so the liquid doesn't sit on the bottom. Because I feel like any latent liquid might burn. But it's got oil in it, so in theory, no it won't. Right? Right? We're going to grab our turmeric. I'm going to make sure all of my... You know, why am I... I'm like, yeah, I'm just going to make sure all of my fingers turn yellow for, for three days. Use a glove. <laughs> there you go it's interesting to smell turmeric when it's fresh like this if you've never worked with it before it's orange very bright orange when you end up cooking with it it will be yellow but it kind of smells like Citrus, there's like, I, people use the word earthy a lot, you know? They especially use it for this root. When I smell turmeric, I smell... I don't know how to describe it. Because it smells like, if, if you took the powder, if you ever like used the powder dried which is dried and pulverized turmeric it's like that but imagine that it smells citrusy or bright instead <laughs> 